G'day fellow steam enthusiasts. This is my Wellesco D32. Had it for well, a bit over five years and it's it was, I should say it was, a 220 volt uh, electric boiler. It had two thick electric bands around the boiler. Uh, first of all it developed some pinholes in the boiler and um, they eventually got back and fried the electrics. I did end up modifying this to run on another boiler, actually a MSM 4 inch boiler. I would have the 4 inch boiler sitting here and I thought that was okay but then again I thought well I've got this nice Walesco D32 and I'm really just faking it with a boiler at the back. So the last couple of days I did some D32 brain surgery. If you've never worked on one of these Walesco D32s you're lucky they are an absolute nightmare. But I took it apart uh, multiple times. If I had a dollar for every time I swore taking this apart I'd have enough money to go out and buy one of the brand new D32s that Willisco has brought out. But nonetheless I've converted this now to a flame fired D32. I don't even know if I've ever seen one before uh, uh, flame fired D32. But I'll run you through what I've done. Jerry, I've got a new steam copper pipe coming from the top of the boiler. I've made a new, turned a new brass um, plug for the top there. Boiler has been completely taken out and patched. It was actually, there was a few cracks in there. I've hydro tested that for uh, multiple times. Found some cracks each time. Uh, went through the process of taking the boiler apart again. Fixing that, hydro testing, and eventually it's nice and watertight now. Uh, this is the steam throttle. That's the oiler, you take that out, you put your steam oil in there. This here dries, I'll move it back and forth, that dries that gear. You can see it interlocking into that gear there. That is the water reservoir. You can see here pump, and that's the off position. And that's the um, the governor, which is it's a fake governor, but that gives you a speed readout on the governor. The only thing I have done, I haven't replumbed in. This is where the condensate goes. And I don't know if you've got a D32 or you've used a D32 with your friends, but that condensate tray fills up to the very brim, and you end up spilling. When you, you've got to take that out, dump that, and you end up with condensate, steam oil, and crap wherever. And it's not something that your wife probably likes having all over her floor. Um, take you up this end. This is the water pump which I've had to modify. I've brought a copper line out from the boiler. Now this pumps water from the reservoir through here and fill, refills the boiler. So you can have it just reticulating or you can have it filling up the boiler. And that's just a, a tap, it'll spray water out there if you turn that tap on. Not 100% sure what that function is. I think we'll let's go just put it in there because it looks good. Now, as I've mentioned before, uh, with the condensate tray, I've taken a pipe out from here. So I've just got this easy way to get rid of the steam oil and condensate. And for me, a much better system than that condensate tray. I'll just show you, I'll take the chimney out. How it works is that the steam oil and the condensate come up into there, they fill up that cup and then it runs into that condensate cup now. That, so you've got a condensate cup there, 
is reiterate, you've got a condensate cup there that's running into this homemade DIY condensate cup. But before, it would have run in under there into that tray. So if you're following along, that makes sense. Likely, this already had the air holes the same as a D24. I think the D24's got a bit less. I've had one firing of this tester. You can see there's a little bit of discoloration there. Just like a, well let's go D24 discolors. It's got a, a big burner in there. Uh, it doesn't take long to heat up with the first initial firing that I had. But anyway, I'll start prepping it as I keep talking. I'll show you, this is the oil, so you just take this out. Put your steam oil in. And it just takes a couple of drops. Turn the wheel, suck it down. Disengage that. Pumps. Take the pump. Yep, yeah, that's. I need to um, clear up my German. That's the pump and that's off. So, I'll give you a look from the top as I oil it. I'm really happy that I did this. I was worried that I was going to not be able to get it back together. Because I'll reiterate again. I think that's the third or fourth time I've said reiterate in this one video. These are a nightmare to work on. This one's got the generator and I'll just show you this one last thing. This has got a grease cup like on old cement mixers or bits of machinery. So you put a marine grease in there, tighten that down and that lubricates that water pump going in and out there, that water pump. There's the generator. Okay, I think this was made in the late 60s or the 70s, I think, from memory. The date's underneath this plaque. Alright, I'll stop the video now and I'll fire it up and I'll come back as the water's starting to boil. Thanks for watching. G'day all, back again. The flame's been lit. As you can see, there's a D32 with a gas flame burning away merrily under the boiler. I'll just show you in the boiler. I think you should be able to see that. Water's boiling nicely. I'll try to whistle. Yes. And here we go. Let's see how we go. This is D32 running on flame. Oh, I hear the water going through. Okay. That bit of a squeak is in here. Is I think I need to take the generator apart. I'll stop the generator. Squeak's gone. Squeak's back. I think I've got to do something in there. There's a bit of a squeak coming from there. But besides that, 
Uh, I'll show you how the pump works. So at the moment, it's just recirculating. I'm going to disconnect that because that squeak is pretty ordinary. Don't take it away. So I'll go back to the water just recirculating now. So if I turn this, you can hear the pump start to work. So it stopped recirculating there. It's now pumping water through the water pump and into the boiler. Steam coming out the chimney. Condensate going into the overflow cup. You see it mixed with the steam oil. Pump on. So now it's gone back to recirculating the reservoir. And we'll turn this on, we'll show you the water just comes out of there. Having a lazy season under the table makes it a lot easier to show people when you're shooting a video. So there we have it, a D32, Willesco D32, modified to fire on gas. All working as it should. I'm so happy to have this resurrected. So I've got a, a D32 instead of just having your shelf clean. I've got a flame fired D32 that I can now enjoy again. You don't realise until you start mucking around and lifting them up how actually big these things are. They really are monster engines and they, they take up a fair bit of real estate on your shelf. Oh, it's just running beautifully. Didn't notice that. This has come off its drive van. There we go. Okay, so that hasn't been turning the whole time of the video, so there we go. That drive van that came off. Sorry about that, guys. And the girls. The girls are watching. Well, I know this has been a long video. I appreciate you watching. And uh, this afternoon, I'm sure I'll be taking that generator off and seeing what's causing that squeak inside it. And that'll be the last thing that I have to do to get this all in A1 condition. I have to say it once more, I am absolutely thrilled that I've got this D32 working. Absolutely thrilled. And gas fired. I'll just show you the side there, there's not much discoloration, only about the same that you would get on a D24. Luckily these air holes were already in there by Valesco, but the, besides that the flame's not doing any damage to anything, there's no 
hasn't affected the top of the uh, chrome finish. And this is only the second time I've fired it up on flame. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of my D32. And don't be scared to buy one of these. Just be prepared that they are a bit of a bitch to work on. And if something goes wrong, you've got to roll up your sleeves, take them apart. And I know now that if the boiler gets another hole that develops another hole, I can take it apart now and patch it as many times as I want. And if worse comes to worse, I could actually remake a whole brand new boiler for it and uh, cut the window sight glass out and put a new window sight glass into a brand new boiler. So for all intents and purposes, I'll be able to enjoy this D32 for as long as I'm steaming. Alright, thanks again. Um, appreciate everyone watching it and if you haven't subscribed I would really appreciate you subscribing to my channel bye for now